This is a parody made with an AI generated voice and does not represent the critical drinker's actual opinion. It's just for fun. Subscribe to Slampicat. Right, first things first. Lady Ballers was promoted as the most triggering movie of the year, but why you say that and chose to censor your own movie is a mystery to me. And you shut the f up, transphobic mother Unless, of course, you're fucking offended by a f one kilohertz tone. But was this movie triggering in other ways? Well, actually, yeah. I was triggered by jokes about as funny as stepping on a plug, and scenes that went on too long and just fizzled out. Lines of dialogue that made no sense, like. We are definitely homeschooling. That's a stab at public schools, but these are adults at a bar, so it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like it. The script is a meandering mess, and at 1 hour 50 this movie has serious bloat because it's not content with just basketball, so they show the men dominating running, shot put, hurdles, javelin, weightlifting, wrestling, swimming, and baseball. This all needs cutting along with the convoluted and nonsensical plot elements that go absolutely nowhere. I wish I spent my time more productively by dipping cocktail sticks in feces and stabbing myself in the eye. There's a joke copied from The Hangover which was copied from Seinfeld. <gasps> Copying jokes is hack and shows little creativity. Also, there's 12 minutes between establishing the purse and the punchline. It's no surprise they didn't use established actors because what professional could make these flaccid and timid jokes work? So instead, they used hackers from The Daily Wire, who are about as natural as when a movie depicts a woman beating a man. The story beats are all over the place with the first team match nearly 56 minutes into the movie, and this is far too late for the premise of the movie to happen. If there's one thing that grinds my gears about Hollywood, it's THE MESSAGE, and it's front and centre in Lady Ballers. There's so much conservative propaganda rammed down my throat, there's no room for the whiskey and I won't fucking tolerate that. <gasps> a potential character arc with a guy realising he's trans was abruptly taken away, and instead we see the coach get back with his ex-wife when he didn't earn that arc. Not. One. Bit. Check out this totally awkward speech from the liberal reporter character. Of course your divorce is affecting your daughter. 70% of all people in prison come from broken families. She's twice as likely to do drugs, twice as likely to drop out of school, four times as likely to have trouble fitting in, three times as likely to end up in therapy, twice as likely to commit suicide, 50% more likely to have health problems. Do you think they're trying to tell us something about divorce or is this what the Daily Wire thinks is a funny rant? The whole movie is obsessed with winning. I said winners are just losers who win. To win, he's a winner. And winning matters. It's all about winning. Make up of a winner. But in the end, the coach says this. Well, we're not men either. Maybe we still can be. We just have to lose. The problem is, this sacrifice doesn't make any sense because they haven't scored any points. They're literally quitting while they're losing. After this empty gesture, he brings on the kids to finish the game and they do score some points, but the scoreboard still says zero. And yet they still made this quote unquote joke. Final score, 418. To six. And of course they lost. They're children playing adults at a professional sport. If you're sadistic enough and decide to watch Lady Ballers make sure you have a sick bag ready because of all the fucking rotating shots, Lady Ballers could have been a savage satire on the modern woke gender and culture war we find ourselves in but instead it's more like a dog licking its wound after a trip to the vet to be neutered. If this movie was a drink, it'd be a shandy half full of piss. Anyway, that's all I've got for today, and as you can probably tell, I really need a dump. Go away now. Like the bloody video.